Amaterasu and the others returned to the foot of Ezofuji. There they saw Lika praying intently. The storm had subsided. Then, as if to celebrate their hard-won victory, the twin volcanoes of Ezufuji erupted in great pillars of flame. The villagers felt, a war felt the warmth on their skin and wept tears of joy. However, Oki merely surveyed the scene sto stoically, remaining silent. Although the evil demons had been driven away, the thought of having taken the sword and caused so much grief weighed heavily on his heart. The only one who could ease the burden of his woes was Samical. The chief ten, who had rescued K Kemu from the shrine, stepped forward. Silently, he approached Oki, offering an outstretched hand. His eyes betrayed the complexity of the emotions behind the gesture. Oki, realizing the gravity of the scene, ex extended his hand in return. The moment they shook hands, Wepkir was reborn, into a village far too strong to ever fall victim to evil again. As for Kutume, the sword that had vanquished the Quin de twin demons, it was returned to its pedestal by Oki's own hands. And as long as the glow remained, no evil dared draw close. Kutume's gleam spoke of a power too great to succumb to evil. At that moment, a brilliant flash of light shot forth from Kutune, striking squarely on the frozen surface of Leochi Lake. Though the lake had never shown any sign of melting, cracks began to open up along its surface. The legend of the Iron Ark, Yamato, was said to have fallen from heaven, and the holy Leochi Lake, which it called home, was revealed to be more than a mere legend before all those present. And thus, the Ark of the Moon Tribe is now opened up to us. We have seen many structures belonging to the tribe that is said to live on the moon, or the celestial plane. I guess you could say they had really good <laughs> architecture. Yeah. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Okami. Last episode, we defeated Lechku and Nechku, and this time... We're not going to be going up there, sadly, as much as I'd love to say, you know, we've done everything that has to be done in the area, we can now enter the Ark. If we do so, we will be unable to return. So, this episode is going to be dedicated to doing things that hey, I have not been able to do until now. Uh, there are just two, two things we, I would like to get. If we look in our menus here, not there, in our scrolls, uh, scroll stray beads you can see that on this list we have two stray beads left one in Kamui and one in Yoshpet and we're going to be setting out to grab those this episode now you're probably wondering um this is you know we're missing a thing because you said last episode or the episode before that that we have three stray beads left well we do um there are 99 stray beads shown on this list so they're in rows of 11 so, there's one more stray bead that um, has to be collected. However, it's not on this list for good reason. But I'm not going to be spoiling that reason to you guys, because why would I? It's, it's dumb. Why would I do that? So, we're going to be grabbing these two stray beads this episode, and it's going to be taking up the entirety of the episode, because it is the Devil Gate Trial Cave, the last one in the game. Ugh, I've been dreading this so much. But... I'm going to be getting items, it's mostly just the time, like how long it's going to take in actual time that 
it made me kind of not look forward to it. Anyway, we have Samical and Oki standing next to each other in s s friendship, I guess we could call it that. It is friendship. The Ark of Yamato. They say it fell from the heavens. It is indeed imposing. The wall of ice shall shatter and open the way to the heavens when Kutane glows silver. The prophecy's wall of ice is not the demon's blizzard. Rather, it is the ice on our perpetually frozen lake. Matarasu, if that ark is the way to the heavens, then you must embark upon it. Though we have not known each other for long, I can already tell what sort of being you are. For you, the realm of the gods lies ahead. It is a journey the rest of us cannot take. You knew that, didn't you, Matarasu? Legend says the Ark of Yamato is the root of all evil in our world. To think we sh would suffer such misfortune after the demons were defeated and warmth returned to Kamui. Man, if this is warmth... <laughs> I was gonna say, if this is warmth, I don't know what cold is, but honestly, we already experienced the cold. It was super fro frozen here, but I've, I have tarried much too long in this area. I need to leave before I push this episode any longer because it's go already going to be a pretty long episode. We can see the day of darkness is still approaching, so not all the evil's gone. It's not just walk up to the Ark of the Yamato and fly up to the heavens and be done. No, there's... There's some evil that's going to need to be prevented. Although we have already taken some great steps in preventing that. Um, speaking of evil that should be prevented, the Devilgate Trial Cave preparations. I'm going to show these uh, just so you know how drastic you need to go to do this. I've heard all about the Day of Darkness. It sounds scary. The more I think about it, the less I like the sound of it. Why don't you buy something and take my mind off it? Because if the world is ending... The first thing I want to do is go to the nearest target and get some cool stuff. Uh, mermaid coin, that'd be useful. You know what? I don't... Actually, I don't think I will be feeding any animals for the rest of the Let's Play. So... <laughs> just because I'm a bit OCD, I'm going to buy one of everything. Uh, this... We won't... We won't need these. We will not need infinity stones, and we certainly won't need 12. Uh, vengeance slips is something I can get behind, because we need a lot. A lot. 24? That would give us 50. Um, let's start with that. 50, okay. Steel Fist Sake. I want to grab these. Let's see, 31 should do it, so we have 50 as well. However, <laughs> I want to buy 10 more. I know, I know. I'm seriously buying everything that I need to become the most overpowered beast in the world. <laughs> Exorcism slip L's are probably not going to be useful. I'm just going to be I'm just going to be honest still. Okay, we'll buy 5 of these just so I can feel good about myself. We'll buy 5 of these. We'll buy 2 of these. Um we'll buy 6 of these. Why do I need this much? I don't know. I'm preparing for the end of the game and also for the, the thing. And I have to remember not to do too much because there's one last... Oh, actually, there are a couple last gigantic per uh, gigantic purchases left. Although, after I'm done, if I have any uh, surplus, I might be able to sell it off. Okay, that that looks good. I, I really only need Vengeance Slips and Steel Fist Sakes, and I have 60 of those. I think I'm good. <sighs> you know what that means? That means the Devil Gate Trial Gave. That means... That means horror, horribleness. Um, I'll, I'll meet you guys over there. Here we are, at the base of the waterfall. Actually, I should show it on the map, just just in case you're coming to this episode, just see where it is. It is right here on the Kamui map, there you go. It's right, right actually below the spawn point, or the map transition for Wep here. There you go. Okay, let's... Have we gone in here before? Yeah, we have, because there's a demon... There's the bandit spider, so I can jump in here. Okay, ten minutes into the episode, we get to start this thing off. Uh, I will have so much invincibility that I don't need godhood. Uh, but I will... Oh, wait, I have full godhood, okay. I, I want to equip myself in a manner... <laughs> we don't need the peace bell. In a manner that makes sense. Whatever I do, I would like to have two of any, of any given weapon. Um, so I get the same type of attack bonus. I'm thinking this would be the way to go, just because 
you know, the reflector counterattack isn't always you isn't always useful. Yeah, I think I'm. I don't know. I might switch off to off to this because it's so, it's more mobile. I'll start. I'll start off. I'll probably switch off later on. But I don't want to be using the 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 rosaries because you know they're lower tier than anything else and. I won't be needing Godhood, which means I'm going to be doing singular attacks to multiple targets instead of one atta um, fewer attacks, but to a bunch of people in an area of effect. So, yeah, I think that's good. I think I'm good. So, I guess we can start this off by me speeding up and playing music. I have nothing really to say over the top of this, so let's just get in here and start it. I might... No, I'm not going to commentate the first battle. I'm just going to start speeding this up because there's a lot to speed up. Okay, let's start.
Wait, what? Really? Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm. D I'm done. Really? Okay, I was not expecting it to be over that quickly. Like the last Demon Devil Gate Trial Cave we did, I spent around two hours just doing that and this was done in about half and a half an hour wow okay here's our stray bead for beating the double gate trial cave snap that's that's great okay also glaives are my favorite weapon class in the game i was i was comparing glaives over um over reflectors in those battles and oh my word Glaives just won out. Even for um, even for getting even for getting Godhood, Glaives won out over the other weapon uh, over Reflectors. I mean, obviously, obviously Rosaries are better for getting Godhood, but for damage for Godhood and just for straight up knockback, this thing is a beast. Forget the fact that it can it can summon Thunder. I mean. This thing is so good, and let's see, what do I have to equip right now? Okay, I, I have exactly what I want to be equipped equipped, except I actually want to wear Solar Flare just because it's awesome looking, and have Thunder Edge equipped as a sub. I think that makes the most sense. And with re uh, remaining, we have 37 and 36 Steel Fist and Vengeance slips, so that's actually really good. Okay. So for the next, for the rest of this episode, I want to be getting the last stray bead that is available to us. The 99th stray bead. And that stray bead would be located in Yoshpet. After beating Lechku Nechku, oh by the way, those were the prerequisites for the Devilgate Trial Cave. There will be a new stray bead that is available to us in Yoshpet. Let's go. Here we are, the forest of confusion itself, or very hard to bloom trees. Now, actually, real quick, I'm going to save because I just beat the Devil Gate Trial Cave, and I do not want to lose the save file. Just one sec. That's much better. I can, I feel comfortable because whenever, um, whenever a battle starts and I was immediately opening up my items menu, the game would freeze just a tiny bit for a couple seconds. It would lag pretty hardcore. So I was just kind of worried that I might lose the saver saving, but or the save file. So I decided to save right there. So anyway, um, Yosh Pet, we can talk to Kai here, and she has something to say. Amaterasu, what in the world are you doing here? Well. Honestly, I knew you'd come back here. When we ran through the forest together before, I was really surprised that you could keep up with me. No one's no one's even come close to beating me in a race before. Ever since that day, I've had this burning question in my head. Which one of us is the fastest? I'm absolutely desperate to know once and for all. And that's why you came here too, right? Actually, yes. So, shall we race? Want to race? Uh, I'm busy. No. Actually, that, that would be a very accurate response concerning we're about to save the world and all uh yeah i'm i'm ready I'll, I'll race okay we'll race through the forest to the clearing whoever gets there first is the winner oh spirits of the air earth and sea bestow upon me your divine powers only you huh well thanks so while this race is going on i guess i could talk about something that I just didn't get a chance to talk about last episode. Also, we're timed for whatever reason. Um, with with Shiranui, I, I wasn't able to really des describe how... No, nope, don't get stuck. How amazing that was. I mean, we saw Shiranui last episode traveled from the past into the present. And that's just that was just so amazing because... For me, when I had first played th through this game, albeit I had seen a Let's Play... Ow, ow snap. I had seen a Let's Play, but I I was relatively spoil spoiler free. Oh no 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 no! That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Um, but when so when I when I faced that part, it was just amazing to me. Siren Shirinui travel back from from the past. It's it's just one of the more memorable things um, in video games for me. I mean. It just so it's so otherworldly to see that happen. I'd thought the chapter of the game where we had seen Shirinui was over. 
also icicles much. But uh, imagine my surprise when you know Shiri would knew he'd come back. It's it's it was so otherworldly, and every single time I see that scene, man, every single time I see Shiri Nui, it just gives me such a, an awestruck feel. I just the chills are there, and it's amazing that a scene which I've seen many times before still manages to captivate me and kind of kind of ha hold me enchanted. It's amazing, and I consider. Um, this part of the game, so the the last third of the game, which is what we're in, to be some of the best storytelling in all video games. I don't know, something about it. I always, it's it's kind of a weird thing about me. Also, Kai, man, girl, you're you're beating me right now. Why are you? No, 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 you don't. What was I saying? Oh yeah, yeah. In video games, I tend to like the. No! This is bad. This is really bad. This is bad. I tend to like the... No! You know what? Ugh. Snap. This isn't really the best place for me to be talking about this, but I'll, I'll try and do it. But anyway, in video games, I tend to like the sad more than I like the, up, the um, upbeat. I don't know what it is about me. Also, fire, what, what? No! I tend to like the sad more than the upbeat. I don't know. With Fee leaving Link, spoilers, sorry, it, it, you know, I, I really liked that. And with Okami, while, while Shirinui, actually that is pretty sad, Shirinui appearing like that and taking, taking the wound for his future self that we knew he would die from, it was just amazing. And the way they connected it, it was just superb. You hear the legend in the very beginning of the game and you don't really think anything of it. Also, I lost. I won! I won! I can run faster than the great Amaterasu! Kai of the Oina, the fastest in the world. She's the fastest thing alive! Why are you staring at me like that? Are you trying to, t are you trying to tell me you, don't give you didn't give it your best shot? Fine, then I'll take you on again. Come back to the forest entrance and we'll have a rematch. Do I have to go all the way back? Really? Why? Oh, never mind, it just warped me back out. That was that's cool. Okay, let's talk to her again and Ah you know what I'll I'll cut to about halfway so you can see how well I'm doing. When I'm not actually talking about the game. I'm talking about the race. Or I'm not talking about my feelings, I'm talking about the race. Hopefully I described that well. I guess I could talk about it a little bit more because you know, I, I did sp speed up a good portion of this episode and if I had just cut around it wouldn't it wouldn't be very enjoyable, so I might as well just continue. But yeah, Fee... Uh, let's see, I, I left off with that. Yeah, I got stuck on the same thing. Fee disappearing and all that, I just like the sad things in games, and that and Shirinui is no exception. I really loved seeing Shirinui. The... Oh, yeah, that's what I was talking about. They tied together the legend that you never really... You never really thought much about. It's, it's very similar to The Legend of Zelda, where they're like, There's the prophecy of the hero! And you are that hero! Go now, take your sword, and become great! It, it wasn't really like that. Here they're addressing that there is a previous story that is every bit as grand as this one, possibly even more so, and you actually get to experience a bit of that story, and it just, it's amazing. It's, it's attuned to, say Link in an adventure, traveled back in time, to see a previous version of himself. That's sort of what this is. And I, it just, it's amazing. I, I, I don't know how many times I have to say that to, uh, to have my feelings about that come across, but I cannot praise that story design enough. That's why this is one of my favorite games. It's not necessarily because of the gameplay, because, you know, if I wanted this gameplay, I guess I could just play something like Twilight Princess. It's the story, along with the gameplay, that makes this game one of my favorites ever. It's, it's been a great experience. But anyway, as for this race, I mean, if you just keep full speed ahead, you shouldn't have to worry. The only, only place where you would really have to worry about uh, about Kai getting ahead is right here with all the snowballs But if that happens just freeze time and then power slash yourself and you'll you'll be good Don't bother using fire like I did earlier. Just go ahead and power slash 
Oh, Kai's right behind me. Kai's right behind... Actually, you know what? I mean, this won't affect... Oh, it doesn't affect the snowballs either. Well, what do you know? Is Kai gonna beat me again? Because if that... If she beat me again, I would be... I would be a little bit upset, honestly. Uh, okay, let's do what we did the first time. Except do it right. Like that! That's how I wanted it to happen the first time. You can't really dodge those uh, those bits of ice. You just have to fire them and go through, because they're the ice is just so hard to uh, move horizontally on that it's really just best to fire it and and freeze time to do that. Okay, are we at the end? I think this is the end, and we totally smoked Kai, even though I was talking about non-racy things. Yeah, we smoked her. Although, to be fair, we should probably do a best two out of three, but meh, that's fine. But, but, that's not possible. I ran as fast as I could. How could you possibly have managed to get past me like that? I suppose this is what happens if you take on the great Amaterasu. And 50,000 yen! I didn't need enough money, and... Or, uh, that's not even a sentence. I didn't have enough money already, I, you had to give me 50,000 more yen. Well, it's kind of a relief in a way. Ever since the first time I met you, the only thing on my mind has been which one of us can run faster. I was losing sleep wondering about that. Thanks for finally putting my mind at ease. Now I can see you off on your travels without a heavy heart. I'll be praying for you to have a safe, safe journey. Here, take this. And there it is, the last stray beat of Yosh Pet and... The last stray bead, the last stray bead, and next episode we'll be doing the thing. <laughs> That's the worst tune in the world. Actually, it occurred to me, I was going to cut away very slyly, but it, occur it occurred to me that I should talk to her. You're really incredible, Amaterasu. I know you can handle anything that comes your way. Now I can see you off on your travels without a heavy heart. And she says the same thing. Nowhere else in the, is the environment as harsh as here in Kamui. I shall hone my skills here so I can pr better protect Kokari. That is how I shall repay him for saving my life. You go, dog. You go you're gonna be all bark and all bite. Oh, um, <laughs> hi. <laughs> I, I decided to do one last thing this episode, just so it, it wasn't kind of this weird, awkward, I'll shove it in here and and then hope you guys don't see how awkward it is things. I'm going to be getting the last fighting technique in the game because next episode we are going to be going inside the arc of Yamato. Yeah, it's go it's going to be close to the finale. The finale is within a couple episodes, so stay tuned for that, but we're going to go in inside to here for now. We get to see Onigiri Sensei one last time. So you finally come again, my little lupine friend. Have you come to sharpen your skills? Oh yeah, we have two million yen because I did I put, yeah I've said this at one point. Um, the best one of the best things to do in a D Devil Gate Trial Cave is to in fact get all the OP items like uh, Vengeance Slips and what you call it, uh, Steel Fist Sakes, because the return of money you get from doing those battles is much much greater than any you would spend on um, on not getting the things. No, that that doesn't make sense. The money that you get from the Devil Gate Trial Cave outweighs the cost of buying those expensive items. There! That's a much better way of saying it. So, uh, for example, I spent, I don't know, a couple hundred thousand yen, probably about 300,000 yen, um, getting the items. And I, I have a really big surplus of items. I'm probably going to be selling off about half of them in between episodes. But, I got about a million five hundred thousand yen in return for doing that well in the battles. So, it's worth your while to do that. Um, and because of that, I have 2 million yen, meaning I can upgrade brown... R or I can get uh, uh, brown rage. Also, I'm stuttering a lot suddenly. If you've mastered golden fury, add insult to injury with this. What is this? Do 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 Actually, I, I probably shouldn't do much more singing of copywritten music because I'll get a claim. 
So you once again choose to try your hand at the fighting arts? I suppose I have no choice. I'll do as you wish and allow you to enroll in my dojo. But I must warn you, I won't hold back this time. Ah. Uh, oh. Come on, I have to do this for the last time in the LP. Seriously, this voice is amazing. I have fun with it. Kamehameha! Ah. Are you mentally prepared to handle the ultimate challenge? Step inside to test your might. Ah. Let the lesson begin. We'll practice the Brown Rage God technique. Take these tips to heart and remember them as we train. Brown Rage God technique tips. During battle, hold the C button to insult the enemy. Doing so will cause your foe to drop a demon fang. Press for Golden Fury. Hold for Brown Rage. Show those evil do doers exactly how you feel about them. Well, do you understand? Yes, I understand the explanation. I will grant you this technique scroll. Check it when you forget what it means to be a warrior. And we can do that so we can achieve ultimate, ultimate perfection. This technique can only be pr uh, mastered by the best. It is not something to be learned. You must have the innate ability. Train until your muscles ache, then train some more. If only Cell did that, imagine how powerful he'd be. So, Brown Rage, uh, we have this, which is Golden Fury, which is all fine and dandy. It's, it's, it's insulting, and it's something we have the innate ability to do. However, there's a thing that's worse. Um, you see this, this form of excrement. Well, there's one more. If we hold it. We'll do this. We will form a bomb of scat. A scat bomb. Bomb of... And it, it does damage. It does actual legit damage. I don't know why you do this over... Over cherry bomb, but... It seems pretty violent. See, let's, let's turn our backs to it so we have closer proximity. This is seriously one of the... Actually, wait a minute. <laughs> Wait, I can't do it next... I can't... Na Wait, can I do it next time, please? Yes, I can! Yes! I'm blowing him up. That's amazing with... Uh, holy scat. <laughs> Literally, it's... Wow, okay. Yeah, the... Uh, I'll be using this sometime. Maybe. Actually. Whoa! I flew. <laughs> Actually, I can probably do the... In fact, you know what? I know this episode's going kind of long, but, you know, this episode was just me, technically, just kind of doing random stuff anyway. I just want to see what this looks like. <clears throat> no. There. Oh, that looks cool. That's pretty cool. That is cool. Okay. So, I'm satisfied. We can leave now, except I want to do it one more time. Yeah. Yeah. Feel that. No, I want to do it one more time. There. Feel it. Feel it. Feel it! Had, an, had enough, eh? Listen, Wolf, gaining experience in a single skill is admirable, but you must never lose the drive for self-improvement. I pray that you do not forget that. And that is going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching, and next time, we're going to be entering the Ark of Yamato. I know, it's insane. That is the end game. We are looking at the end game right now. Next episode, guys. Next episode. I don't know. I was kind of hoping that this Let's Play would go over or uh, at 100 episodes or less. But, hey, I'm beating some of the major LPers who have done this. So that's that's pretty neat. I'm doing 100% run faster than other Let's Players who have done 100% runs. And I, I, I would say this Let's Play has run its fair course. It has been very, very good, very long, very prosperous, and I've learned a lot doing it. So that'll be that'll be really good. In between episodes, I will I don't know, I might farm a little bit, I might grind um mainly because there's one thing coming up. There's one last major purchase that I don't think I'm prepared for with 250,000 yen. I think I fall short of it by maybe about maybe 100,000. But just to be safe, I will check and if I'm good, I won't do any grinding, because there's no reason for me to grind. I have all the items I never ever need. 
but I might I might be doing grinding, possibly, so expect that. I might just be able to sell off my items, the excess items, and just call it good. I don't know. I'll have to see. But anyway, uh, next time in a, I've already done that. <laughs> I release new episodes of Kami Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Saturdays are long episodes. If you like this episode, then comment. If you didn't like this episode, then make a comment telling me how I can make uh, the next episode so that you would like it. Hi, Mr. Man. Yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Where's a good end slate? I always ask that. I always wonder, but... That's the question of life. Where is a good end slate? End slate! I see you! End slate! Feel my wrath! End slate! I can't reach you with a double jump, so I have to use vine. End slate! Here you are! Hello, end slate! My name is Goku. Actually, it's Cell, because I am doing the Cell voice. I will achieve perfect, uh, ultimate perfection with the Cell voice. <laughs> See you guys next time. And this is not a good end slate. Somewhere else. Please. Tengen fix!